People don't follow dreamers anymore. They want easy answers. 12 years ago now, a couple came to me and they said, we want you to make our rings. That was easy. But what they did ask was a really important question. Where does my gold come from? That led me to Colombia. We ended up importing the first traceable gold uh, from an ecologically sourced mine. The first thing I thought of when I came back was, oh my God. <laughs> this question is so much bigger and frankly, nobody believed in it. Nobody wants to solve these problems. One of the things that I tell my kids is that when you know better, you do better. Robin was the first person to put his hand up and say, I believe in this too. I didn't know a lot of the issues. He did a great job of informing me. The question now was, how do we create maximum value for the upstream and the miners by reducing the costs in the downstream and so that we can reinvest back in them? We can do proof of concept using our own manufacturing, our own retail, our own everything. I thought, wow, this is a bigger question that's not being answered by the industry as a whole. We could fill that opportunity. And I was, I was disappointed to find out that that is not true. One of the things entrepreneurs do is they believe that everybody has the passion that they have. <laughs> that's not the case. The response is lukewarm at best. The reaction from the industry was to either ignore it or to dismiss it. That was the biggest disappointment because if the industry changed, the consumers didn't have to change. It's an ancient industry. They will only change when we start taking money out of their pockets in millions and millions of dollars. Starting down this path was probably the most isolating and lonely experience I've ever experienced in my life. If I had advice for another entrepreneur is don't do it for you. For me, I learned that lesson by going through this journey and hitting the lows. And when you hit the lows, you can only look up. And when you look up, you just see other people. Just last week, we came back from a conference. They had two Congolese female miners. We knew it at an academic level that what we were doing had positive impact, but to actually hear it from somebody, to talk about how their kids can go to school, it's really moving. I would like to be able to sit here and say that I'm a social justice person. It was solving the problem that was the, the, the challenge that really intrigued me to it. For all the risks and all the things, all the hard work, it, it made it totally worth it. The opportunity to actually do things, not talk about doing things, but actually do things, is awesome. It's a dream to be able to do this.